Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Morning Brews. On today's show, Tottenham Hotspur are playing Brentford. What is more important, cups or league position? Stay tuned here. Welcome back to Tottenham on Tour, your world-famous morning brew show with myself, the cough, and Daigle. Oh, I'm so tired. Four in the morning. <laughs> oh, <we're... laughs> to be honest, Daigle, not to make a jab, but you could, you could don't, most of the time you don't need to do that at the moment. You're just tired anyway because we're exhausted because we're working so bleeding hard. But Daigle, how are you doing this morning slash afternoon uh, slash evening? I'm doing... Absolutely great. I look forward to watching myself at 4 a.m. because yeah. I'll probably be up at 4 a.m. putting comments in. Um, good morning to everyone. It's good to see everyone here. And I will say, Ben said the first two main topics of the show. There is a secret third one, which oh, yes, is going to yeah. need your. This third section is all about you, the watchers, the viewers. Stay tuned to the end. It's going to be some fun. Absolutely. Stay tuned to the end. But of course, Aki, it is Tottenham Hotspur versus Brentford this weekend at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It is a three o'clock kickoff. Is this the second three o'clock kickoff of the season? Uh, uh, I'm so fed up of all these Sunday games, but I am terrified about this game of football. I am absolutely terrified. All four of us, uh, Ireland hasn't done his reaction to the, the, really, we should have got Ireland's reaction to the the yep. Coventry game, because he was probably the only positive one out of all of us. We were all screaming murder in our group chat that you did it on Andrew Management, we did it on Morning yep. Bruce. We were awful against Coventry, and they pl- they did what we thought they were going to do, 10 men behind the ball and hit us on the counter. Now yep. we're up against one of the tactical masters, I think, of that sort of football and that's Thomas Frank, someone we both absolutely admire massively. Yep. How do you see this going? So, so, so first of all, you got to remember, Amir did it on We Are Tottenham TV at the Watch Long. Um, Ireland did say during the uh, the White was still one 0 This is horrific. But then he, uh, then obviously his views and his opinion, rightfully so. We've won. Pot- he's oh, he's, more- he, he he is definitely the ray of sunshine. In the, all of the us, we're the most diverse. You've got myself, who's completely and utterly don't like the manager at all, don't like the tactics. It's got you yep. that don't like the owners, fine with the manager, but we can't keep sacking another manager. You've got yep. Dave, who's just Dave. We've got Amir, <laughs> who's just really positive because he's Amir and we all love him. And yep. then you've got Ireland, who's so, so positive. It's, <laughs> we're, we're incredibly diverse. Who would have covered the rainbow? Uh, uh, it's not an uh, echo chamber, but. Thomas Frank, he's going to give us a hard game this weekend, isn't he? It, he is. Listen, as I said, before Ange Postacoglu came in, before Ange Postacoglu was mentioned, Thomas Frank was my number one one. I, I, I can't, I can't lie how much I admire him as a manager, uh, both on the pitch and off the pitch. I just think he's a class act. Um, it's going to be a tough one because last time, obviously, we beat them last season. But the season before that, when all the Levy out stuff was going mad, it was Harry Kane's final game, wasn't it? And he absolutely went one nil up, and he absolutely wiped the floor with us. Um, yeah. They've got Whistler out. There's obviously no Ivan Tony. We've yeah. definitely got Ozil. We're missing out. a few players, aren't we? There's yeah. no no Wilson, no Basuma. Um, depending on the result of Benson Kerr's hearing, I don't think Benson Kerr is Benson Kerr able to play it, or is it his so, hearing? From what I understand, Benson Kerr had. Until today, close the business to uh, to appeal it. By the looks of it, the both him and the club have not. Yeah. So I don't know if there's now a review, and it gets delivered tomorrow, or or if they 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 then ban him and say starting from X, it's uh, it's them. But Joe, you know I even if it's not Benzikor, you got to look at it. going into this game. The atmosphere at home is going to be a tense one. Obviously, people will be excited. It's a Saturday game. It's a great time for me. 10 a.m. kickoff. Yeah. Uh, great time for me to run. <laughs> no really early get up. Um, yeah. Well, you know, I, I don't even care so much who, personnel who plays. I think, but and Postacoglu's sake, 
I hope there's some tweaks. And when I say tweaks, I just mean variations of play. I, you know I, that's I, not going to happen, Maraki. You can ask it. You can ask it until you're blue in the face. He's not done it this season. He didn't even do it. Against, he didn't even do it against Coventry. He's not. And he I, hasn't. But you know what? I, at, at the point, I know. Listen, people will say stubborn. People will say arrogant. Some people can say on the other side of the coin, um, a man who sticks to his principles, a man who believes in his own ability. What, well, whichever way. You want yeah. some buzzword terminology phrase? Surely, the games at the start of the season haven't worked, apart from Everton, which is obvious, with the personnel we have. I think, I think I've, t- I've said this on stream. I and think then, if we could get 11 Spurs YouTubers together, and I think we would beat Everton. Yeah, oh, uh, mate, undoubtedly. Undoubt- <laughs> forget that. You can get 11 players at random. You know, like yeah, in, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the no, in America, below, in, in America. The comments- they do the half time, especially in basketball. They call a random seat out to do the half time, half court shot. You could do that at Tottenham and just pick eleven random seats. Yeah, and they would be. And they they could beat Everton right now. But I want to see. There's got to be. I think if he doesn't tweak something, I'm not saying change the complete, change, no. change the, reinvent the will. I'm talking about if we're under the cost, dropping back, whatever. After or the, even the, Aki, let, let's face it, like if if Brentford are really really narrow, instead of telling the fullbacks to go narrow, tell them to go wide and put crosses in the box. Yeah, because that's just, what that's just, what that's what's going to turn the defense. That's defenders. I I'm a terrible defender, but I mostly play as a defender. The worst thing a defender wants is facing towards their own goal. And if yep. you go around them and put low crosses in the box, it will cause panic. And I think what he's got to look at as well, I mean, if if I could be, I'll ask you this and let's see what the the, the people watching on the premiere. And remember, this is a premiere, people. Why we didn't say hello at the audience uh, at the beginning or anything. If you could make one tactical switch, I'll, I'll go first, Ben, and then you can follow suit. And then obviously people there, for me, if there was one tactical switch I would make, would be Poro right wing, Spence right back, and the re- not just because Spence deserves to be in. We've got to get some service to Solanke. We've got to get some service to Solanke, and Poro, as I said beforehand and during the window, the only person I could, if someone has said to me, right, you have got one cross and one cross only, and it's got to find Solanke. Who do you want crossing that ball? It's Poro. It's it's Poro. I mean, who, what would your tactical change be? It's either Poro or uh, Madison. I'd, I'd even say Bergvall, mate, after, over Madison. Um, but Bergvall, you don't know if he's been on the pitch. But what would be your tactical change? Wait, but I just said it. Ditch the inverted fullbacks. I, oh yeah. I, I, I could I couldn't despise inverted fullbacks more than I could possibly despise inverted fullbacks. I mean, we heard it from Glenn Hoddle last week. I've said it a few times on Morning Brews this week. The middle of the park is like Piccadilly Circus. And when you're playing against a team like Brentford that likes to pack the middle of the park and do sometimes do two banks of four if they can, yep. you don't want players in the middle of the park. You want them down the sides. You want to stretch that back four. You want to stretch that back four, and that, cause, that causes errors. So yep. I would... Get Sonny, get get Sonny closer to goal. I want Sonny to start start shooting more. I want Sonny closer. Well, everyone to start shooting. Yeah, everyone to start shooting. But I think if Sonny's closer to the goal with the ball, I think he will shoot more. I don't want Sonny hugging the left touch line. I don't want it. I don't think anyone wants it. But he's our most clinical player in the Premier League. Yeah, we yep. we need him closer to goal. But I would say one thing about the inverted fullbacks, and I, I do agree with you. It's not working at the moment. At the moment. Um, Jose did it with Aurier, didn't he? But he let Aurier go forward and one stay back. Whereas we, we, that was both. Him one, though. He yeah, became, I know. Aurier became a winger, he didn't go into midfield. What happened? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it can work. Davis right. would become a third centre back, and you would have the, the two centre backs, and then Aurier would become a right winger. Yeah, so that's then the a right winger would then become a forward. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even if they did, even if they did one at a time, just not both bombing forward. But anyway. We'll see what happens. I, I can't wait to look in the comments and see what other people are saying. Um, but I think I'd like to see something, even if it's just like we said, like I think a lot of people said, if we're under the cosh, just drop back for 10 minutes, mm-hmm. soak up the pressure, and then go again. That would be a change. 
that yeah. would be a huge change. They'd be like, okay, he is, he is, he is trying. Um, but yeah, if if we if uh, if this result or we don't start well or play well, you can see after getting booed off at half time um, at Coventry and then Bergvall's substitution booed. It could be a interesting day at the stadium. It'll be a long day at the office. It'll be a long yep. weekend around Poster if, if he if he d- keeps on being bullish and stubborn and it doesn't go well, it's not going to be a good weekend for him. And that fan forum is drawing ever closer. He's going to want some positive results because uh, our man that we all love to talk about, uh, that we like to stretch our fingers about, he's going to be rubbing his fingers to get. He's going to be rubbing his hands together. If the results on the pitch are not good, yeah. none of the pressure is going to be on him. It's all going to be on the manager and the players. And that's what Levy wants. So it's he's going to have to pull the rabbit out of the bag. Otherwise, he's going to be staring at the floor with a, with 200 Tottenham fans staring at him. And they're not going to... Like we saw our, our lovely friend Matt on TalkSport the other day, giving them absolute <laughs> hell. They've got <laughs> absolute hell. He, they... The, I hope Matt is in the fan form because that was bloody brilliant. Big up to Matt's, but big up to his burgers. Big yep. up. If you want to go to a burger, go and see him. He's wonderful. Just hilarious. Absolutely yep. hilarious. He, he, he definitely gave Jamie O'Hara a bit of a scare. Right, he did. He did. And Jamie <laughs> O'Hara said he's going to go have a burger with him, but doesn't ask what burger bar it is. So uh, yeah. <laughs> he's just going to go around all the burger bars going, are you Matt? Um, Everyone, if you do go, he's on the corner of the Park Lane and East Stand by the school in the car park, right in the corner. Um, he's just a, he, he's just such a wonderful bloke as well, isn't he? Oh, he's a, he's a good laugh. He's a good laugh. But it's that time. It's halftime team talk. So please remember, we've been doing this, but we've seemed to have forgotten this. So please like and subscribe to Tottenham on Tour. We need your support. If you are new to the channel, if you think we're idiots, if you think we're smart, if you think we're all the names under the sun, please put a comment in the comment section. We will try and read all your comments and respond to them. But please like and subscribe to Tottenham on Tour. We're trying to do a lot more content, which we're going to talk about after the next topic. Correct. We've got some we've got some fun things for you to do, and it's going to be brilliant. It is indeed. It is indeed. So, so what's the next subject, Ben? I've forgotten. Oh, no, I remember now. You said uh, Premier League or Cup competitions. and uh, Oh, yes, I did. It, and I mean... We can know. agree on this. So it's going to be a really, it's going to be a really bad watch for the viewers because we're, we're just going to agree on it because all Tottenham fans would throw the league if it meant getting a Carabao Cup. We would all happily finish 14th and win a Carabao Cup. Yeah. But the problem is the man upstairs, this guy again, we like to yep. talk about this guy, uh, the world famous home of, of doing that. Yep. Of course they like to talk about that. That man's not going to think the same way as us. He's going to think top four, top four, top four, top four, top four. Get that Champions League money. Get the big boys. Get a big team at White Hart Lane. Make make a, a song and dance about it and just charge a hundred pounds for a ticket. But the, the f- I want any cup, any cup. The, yep. like, the only time I we I well I've been a lot. Two cups have been won since I won and like both were the Carabao Cup. Um, but I'd love to win the Carabao Cup. It bring back my childhood because I was twelve when we won the Carabao Cup or the Carling Cup as it was then. Big old Jonathan Woodgate. I just want to see a trophy. Go for the FA Cup or the cup or the Carabao Cup. We yep. desperately need it, Tottenham. We desperately need it. Yep. Before before yeah. I give my opinion, I just want to say I completely forgot you're wearing your bucket hat. And Ben, you do rock the bucket hat. You rock Sorry. the bucket. You rock the bucket hat, buddy. But you know what? I've, I've been thinking as well. Johnny and I spoke about it on Angel Management yesterday. Um, and we were talking about if we get out of the group stages of the Europa League, mm. does Daniel Levy finally see it and say, do you know what? I think we have a better chance of getting top four by winning the Europa League and going down that avenue than all the competition we have in the league. And I, I personally, if I was him, and if I was leaving, yeah, um, but yeah, uh, all I you need to do is put your glasses on, Aki, okay, and people think you're him. Well, thankfully, I've got a bit of facial hair again, so uh, no. Yeah. Um, but but 
I would have, if I was in that position, I'd immediately say, right, eggs in one basket, it's that for Champions League. Yeah. Then I realised the financial gain for winning Europa League is nowhere near as high as finished fourth in the Premier League. Yeah. And then if you ask, then you ask yourself, would he, and this is where I think it comes to, would he take qualification? If I gave him the com- if I gave him the choice right now, still make the fifty million quid for playing in the Champions League. Oh like no, that. but the, the, yeah, no, but the thing is, but if I said to Daniel Levy, you can, I'm going to give you two options right here, right now. You win the Europa League, so you get a trophy, blah blah blah, but you don't get the prize money, or you get Premier League fourth, top four, and that elusive, and the financial gains. Obviously, you both get the financial rewards for being in it. He would choose fourth. Yes, he would. He would choose fourth and making a few more million pounds in revenue for finishing higher than winning a trophy. I, I honestly think this season, I said it again on Andrew Management, league position is important. Yeah. League uh, position it is important, but it's nowhere near important as winning a yeah. cup for me, whether it be the League Cup, the Europa, uh, FA Europa. And that's another reason Ange Postacoglu should be worried about his job because there is a man called Thomas Tuchel who would happily step into that squad with with those three centre backs and the and the squad we have? If Thomas Tuchel took over this team, I don't want to, I don't like Thomas Tuchel as a manager. For me, he's another far too defensive manager. I want a sensible manager at the football club, not someone that's ultra gun ho and attacking. Not someone that's ultra. De- I want a sensible football manager. But Levy Thomas would see. Won't come here. Thomas Tuchel oh, won't come in. He was, he, was a Spurs fan. he was a Spurs fan growing up, Aki. I think he would jump at the chance to manage Tottenham. Not under this owner. Not under this owner. I don't I, think... I, we'd have to agree to disagree. But if... I'd want Amarin. I would want Amarin, but it, we're not talking about no. the next manager. In, of... in, in, but hypothetically, if Thomas Tuchel took over this team, he gets top four. I think he uh... gets top four. With these players, they are well good enough to get top four. They're, they're well, well, he took that lot of the Champions League, didn't he? So, uh, who yeah. knows? And literally, he, not top four, the Champions League. Yeah, he, with Timo Werner. <laughs> with Timo Reunite, Werner. The, the Chelsea reunited. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Friends reunited. The, the yeah, dream team. The dream team. But, yeah, we, 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 we just agree, Aki. I think every Spurs fan would say, yeah, just win a trophy. Get it off our back. People can stop upsetting us in the school parking lot or at work or yep. even on the London Underground. People, if you wear a Tottenham shirt, take people take the the absolute out of you because you yep. support Tottenham. We need to get this uh, duck off our back. We got to win a trophy. But on the final, just this, it's not news, but Tottenham on tour wants to make some more content. And uh, yesterday on the Coffee Company. I was with Daigle, Coobs, Bobby and, and Nick. And I brought up that on Facebook, one of, the, one of the funnest things for men of our age to do is to just name random footballers. Yep. And in our Tottenham on Tour group chat, we played the game of you're only allowed to name average players. No good players, no bad players, all average players. The game went on. For four hours of Sean Slater just being amazing at that game, and just a Shawnee the Showtime, it was just the greatest game ever. And you woke up to two hundred and eighty-seven. No, two hundred. No, I, I literally had to go to sleep, and it's why evening bruise was cancelled. I'd just been exhausted because of the last few days catching up with me. Check WhatsApp. Two hundred and ninety-six messages. <laughs> just. Random, random footballers' names. But what we want from you guys is we want to have one night a week, hopefully, some fun game shows, some fun quizzes, some inclusive games, and turn current games into Tottenham games. Whether it be games you've heard on the radio, whether it be a Tottenham version of a or football version of categories, whether yeah. it be whatever. But we want to make it ultra, ultra, ultra inclusive. Yeah, and we want you guys to be a part of it on camera and in the chat. So in the comment section, as in right here, right now, in the in yeah. the comment section, the live chat. But most importantly, in the YouTube comments after, any ideas for game shows yeah. or the kind of to- the kind of content you want to see on a, like a wacky Wednesday, we can call yeah. it. 
or or whatever, whatever day it may be. Obviously, Wacky Wednesday, only if it is on a Wednesday. Um, or reach out to us on our social medias. Um, because we want to do some more fun stuff. Because, again, we're at a time where all across the pond, pond all across the, uh, uh, the Spurs social media, whether it be YouTube, whether it be Twitter, whether it be Facebook, whether it be wherever, there is a lot of negativity. There is a lot of doom and gloom. There is a lot. And don't get me wrong, I'm part of that when it comes oh, to the sure. ownership. But oh, I get called every name under the sun. Yeah, but we just we just want to have some fun and we want to have some fun with you guys. And I would recommend watching the cough uh, the cop show yesterday because it was just an hour and of also, just in things. the comment section down below. I want sh showtime, you know what to do, mate. You know what to do. I want everyone who watches this video. To post one random average footballer, no good yep. players like Morton Gamps, Pedersen, or players like that, just pure average. And let's see how many comments we can get on this video. That game went for five hours, four or five hours. Let's see how many comments we can get down below. And it was just a laugh because I think it'd be hilarious just to see how many more average footballers because there were so many. That we all remember them. That was the shocking thing. We remembered all of them. Yeah. So yeah. that's a bit of fun. But exactly. Like, as always, everyone, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Have a great rest of your day. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to Tottenham on Tour. Um, let's do it the the, the, the my way. Let's do it. If you smell what the cough is. Bruin and I don't know what this is. I don't know away, what this is, but I'm liking it and it feels like I'm doing a workout for my hands. Uh they do need workouts for all the extra work they do. Have a great weekend, everyone, whatever you're doing. Hopefully, Spurs will get a win. I will be doing the fan show tomorrow at 1 p.m. my time, 6 p.m. UK time. And as always, Levy out.